Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript Advanced Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will take a closer look at OOP. We will briefly understand what is OOP stands for and what is the use of OOP in JavaScript. Don't forget to watch the complete video because it is very helpful to you. OOP stands for Object Oriented Programming. To understand Object Oriented Programming, we need to first understand what is object. Object is a simple, unordered collection of properties, each of which has a name and value. Object can aggregate multiple values and allows you to store and access that values by property name. Property name can be a string or a symbol. In the previous video, we learned how to declare an object and enumerate its properties on the console. Now, we will understand what is the use of object in object-oriented programming. Object-oriented programming is a very important aspect in every programming language. I really hope that you carefully listen all the instruction and understand what is object-oriented programming. In object-oriented programming, object is a logically related collection of data and functionality. Now this object can be a collection of properties and methods. Using the real world example, you will completely understand how the object is really created. Now, let's assume that object is a car. And a car has multiple parts and functionalities. Now here, we will assume car parts as properties and functionality as methods. It means, if the car has a model number, number of doors, glasses, number of wheels, these all parts are properties of the car object whereas open door accelerate turn on headlights and every functionality of the car are methods of car objects now this piece of information will complete the car it means when you combine car properties and methods then you will get your complete usable car so now the object also have the same similarity like car Using properties, you can specify object part and using methods, you can specify object functionality. Now, you know that to build a complete car, you will need properties and methods, right? Now here, I also wanted to introduce one more important topic is you can access object reference anytime using reference. It means when you specify your object reference to the other variable, then you can modify this object using the reference variable. Using the example, you will understand what I want to say. Suppose I have an object and you have a reference of that object in the variable like this. If I just declare an empty object here, so I will just say constant obj and I will just specify curly braces here and this is my empty object. And if I create a reference of this object, so I will just say constant y is equal to object, then I can create properties of this object using this reference. So if I just say y dot d is equal to and in the double quote, I will say property created using reference, right? And when I print this on the console, so if I just say console dot log, and say obj.d then you will see the property of object is created so when you execute this statement you can see your object has a one property created using the reference variable right there is a lot more thing to understand and we will cover everything one by one i hope you will have understood the meaning of object oriented programming if not, then don't worry, using future tutorials, you will completely understand what it is. Don't forget to watch the next tutorial, because the next tutorial depends on this tutorial. That's it. That is all for this tutorial. I have asked a question in the comment. Answering that question will help you to understand this topic more deeply. That is all for now. We will see you in the next tutorial.